Hi, it's Miss Jen. I want to welcome you to this episode of Your Library at Home from the Gail Borden Public Library. Okay, now we're ready to make our chick. need a piece of paper. I'm going to make my chick yellow and orange. You fold your paper almost all the way up, but you leave a little flap that you can glue and fold over. Use your glue stick and make it sort of like an envelope flap. And then we'll fold that over and glue it and it'll make a little tube. You'll put the flap side down and you're gonna fold it till the ends meet. Then you turn it sideways and you take the end, one of the open ends and fold it back toward the ins inside edge. Turn it back over Fold it back over to the inside edge. Now you've got your puppet where you can stick your fingers in the bottom and top. All right, I already cut out my pieces. So when you're doing this at home, you can cut them out first if you want. Uh, let's see, I'm almost. I cut out my eyes, two white circles for eyes. And I took a piece of yellow paper and I cut it in like a triangle and then I made some feathers. I just clipped it this way to make the feathers. I have two like, rectangular pieces of orange paper that I'm gonna cut a heart out of. And I'm using them on top of each other, excuse me, so that um, they'll be the same. And I'm gonna make the inside, the top and bottom beak. So you just measure it and decide how long you want it to be. So mine, I'm, I've got these two pieces of paper on top of each other. I'm going to fold them in half because that's the easiest way to make a heart. Let's see. I'm going to cut half a heart out of it toward the folded edge. And then when I open it, I have a heart. And I made mine kind of wide. So, um... Now, we can put glue on it, on the round parts, so the pointy part sticks out. There's one on the top, and one on the bottom. And you've got your beak. We'll put some glue on our circle eyes. And we'll stick our eyes on. Then you cut your triangle out and you make your feathers with your scissors, which I already did. So I'm gonna put some glue on that leave kind of a longer pointy bottom so that you can stick it on and then bend it forward so it'll stick up and then we can use our marker to make the pupils and there you've got your chick puppet these will be fun to play with. You can make them for your friends or your family for spring. And there's, what other animals can you make? Can you think of other things you can make with these puppets? You can make a pig maybe, or a horse. How could you do that? Use your imagination. The 
items we will need are food coloring, a marker, some orange construction paper, some flour, which I have in this container here. I have two to three teaspoons full of flour in a little container, and water. And then we'll need a piece of paper and a fork for our picture. So, first you put two to three teaspoons of flour in a little container, and then you add, little by little, two to three teaspoons of water to it, and you mix it up. It'll be a little bit of a thicker consistency. I'm going to add all my water. So we stir it up, and then we will add a couple drops of yellow food coloring. Today's picture requires yellow. All right, and then we're going to mix, finish mixing this up to get our yellow paint. So it'll take a few, it'll take a little while to mix it to get it smooth to get all the lumps out of it. And then you'll wind up with a consistency that's like a little bit thick but still runny. All right. Okay, so now we're ready to begin our painting. So we need our fork, and then we need a piece of paper that we want to make the painting on. Any color you want. I picked white. Then we're going to need a spare piece of white paper to cut some eyes out of, and a pair of scissors, of course, and an orange piece of paper that we're going to cut a little beak out of. We need a black marker, and that's going to make the legs of our uh, chick. So, right now we're going to take our fork, I'm going to mix this paint up one more time, and then we're going to take our fork, and we're going to try to make a circle out of, by scraping the fork along the paper, and this is making the feathers of the chick. So we're going to do this in a whole circle. So I'll show you what it's looking like up close. You can see it's making just the strokes of the fork are making feather-like marks. You can do this with other colors, maybe orange I've seen where they've made a lion's mane, or you can make flowers this way. And you keep going all the way in a circle you can make the circle as big or as small as you want. And you fill the whole thing up with strokes of paint from your fork. And when you're done, I made one earlier for practice, it'll look like this. So now, we're going to use our paper. I'm going to I cut out a little strip of white paper and I'm going to cut some round eyes out of this. About the size of a quarter. And I'm going to cut a triangle. As big as you want the beak to be, you can make the triangle out of the orange. a glue stick. My paint is wet enough right now, but I guess we need a glue stick to stick our beak on. And we can use our marker to color some pupils onto the eyes. You'll see I've got some eyes and a beak there. 
taking my marker and I'm going to color some pupils onto my eyes as big as you want to make them. And then I'm going to draw some legs right on the bottom here. And there's my fork painting of a little peep. Happy spring. Thank you for joining me for this Your Library at Home program from the Gail Borden Library. Check out our website at gailborden.info for other programs that we have and also our Facebook page. Have a great day.